Hey YouTube, Das here with another tips and tricks for FIFA 15 and today I'm going to be going over the right analog stick again and hopefully you watched my previous tutorials about skill moves, first touches, um, touching the ball on upfield, all of those videos utilize the right analog stick and today's tips and tricks it's less about a surefire tip or trick that will work every time and more kind of a challenge to you to use your brain more and control control the actual stick more and what's going on on the field than just doing something that repeatedly that will work all the time. And what that challenge is, is just to simply use the right analog stick more and control it better. Because most of the time when I do these kind of tutorials and tips and tricks, most of the time it's something that I'm struggling with as well in my game. And I sit down and figure out what it is that's going wrong. And then I just make a tutorial about it and usually most people are having the same kind of problem. It's how it was with defending or shooting or passing, skill moves. Like I would just sit down and think, okay, I'm having problems with this. Let's make a tutorial about it. And that's what this one's about. It's a challenge to you guys to use your right analog stick more. And that's what I've been doing for about the past week is using the right analog stick more. Because what happens, I was doing this, I'm sure some of you are having the same problem. When you're using the right analog stick, you're jamming the right analog stick wherever you need to go. So if you were having the ball and you were going to do a skill move, you're jamming the stick where it needs to go. You don't really need to hit it that hard when you're controlling the ball. If you're here like this, you can just hit it lightly and control where the ball's going all the time. You know, you don't need to be jamming the stick around. I still jam the stick around though, you know. You get nervous or you get anxious that, you know, if you get past this one defender, you're clearing in on goal. And you're going to jam that right analog stick and you're going to send the ball, you know, whichever way it's going to go. And that's what, that's what you kind of want to control, right? And so my challenge to you guys is to play a whole game. Uh, don't play this online because you'll probably go insane and get really angry. But play in um, single player or career mode or something like that to where you're only using the right analog stick, right? You're not worried too much about passing it or getting away or anything like that. Maybe you want to shield the ball with L2. Um, you can also use L2 and R2, which turns you towards the goal, and that offers a lot of control over the ball here. See, you can just shield the ball nicely, right? You can just do nice little things, and you don't really need to be jamming the stick. Now, it kind of looks like I'm jamming just how I have the angle of the camera there, but really, it's really, really light how I'm hitting that. Because when you jam the stick, what happens is you get, if you watch my first touch tutorial, what happens is you're going to get those first touches and it's going to go, um, I didn't do it there. And you're just going to, uh, come on, there we go. You're going to end up losing control of the ball because it's going to get away from you. It's going to get away from you and then you're going to have difficulties, right? So, um, focus on kind of utilizing the right analog stick to your advantage to get around defenders. And, um, yeah. Oh, there's a foul for you. So kind of focus on that, okay? Because when you're playing an ultimate team or seasons or something like that, um, don't try to focus on what their player, what who their players are. If you watch my ultimate teams and stuff, I I mean I list out their players, but after I do that, I always think how am I going to beat it, right? Because a lot of people, even up to Division One, they play one way. They play one way only. If it doesn't work, they lose the game, right? If it works, they win the game. All the way up to Division One, they're doing that where it's just, you know, uh, just an example. Like, they put Bell up there with, like, Remessi and Ronaldo. Like, that chemistry would never work, really. But, um, like, say they put those up there and you think, oh, great, you know, he has these great outstanding players. They're just going to beat me all the time, like, and get the goal. Like, not really. Like, you can think. Like, use your brain to think about how you can beat those players. And so, this video is kind of the right way, same way about the right analog stick. Think about what you're doing with the ball and how to control it. Don't, you know, we all do it. I still do it even after a week's practice of using the right analog stick. I'm still jamming the stick because it's just, it's forced to like, you get, you know, kind of freaked out like, oh, I have to get the ball away from him and then you jam it and then you just lose the ball completely, right? So, um, just, I, I just want to kind of put that out there to you guys as a challenge um, to focus on controlling the right analog stick more and getting off the easy skill moves or keeping the ball, shielding the ball, keeping it away from the defender because that's how you can really kind of um, level the playing field if you're controlling the ball more 
against someone who's just going to outpace you or beat you on three balls or physical or something like that, right? So hopefully this like little tips and tricks challenge video gives you something to think about and something to try because that's what um, kind of really helps you improve is finding things that you like to do and how you like to play. If you like to play the one style where you only do that one thing all game long, like maybe it's sweats, you know, whatever I was making quotation marks that you couldn't see, but maybe it's sweats or maybe it's abusing pace or strength or something like that. If that's the one thing you want to do, go for it. Like that's how you want to play the game. Me personally, I like to sit down and think, okay, this person is running this type of squad. How can I beat them? Like what is going to beat them? And I try to kind of build my squad around things that can beat a lot of things, right? So um, yeah, just kind of put that video out there to think about it. So hopefully it helps you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like the rest of my content, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, be sure to go check out my new career mode video. I just put it out yesterday. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. It's really cool, so go check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.